Now we continue this example right here to ask what's the probability somebody score is higher than you? Let's say your friends right here is 84, right? Somebody may get 85, 86, 89. And we also want to know what is probability somebody's score is less than her. 73, 60. Is that possible? In order to find out the P a student score is bigger than 83, we need to discuss more about the Z score and the curve. Let's first look at the graph right here. Uh, here's no curve, so I'm going to add a curve. It's not going to be perfect. I'm going to do one more on the right side. It's supposed to be a straight line and a curve. And we call this a Loma curve, it's followed by the Loma distribution. So first, let's look at our mean. On the left side, the mean is right here. I remember our z-score formula, our z-score formula I'm going to put on top. z-score formula is your score subtract the mean divided by the standard deviation. If someone score 80, if you remember the mean is 80 before, standard deviation is 3, now we should get a z-score 0. That's exactly in the middle of the curve. So on the right side, I will put 0 right here. Stand for the mean. But this line right here is follow the z-score, right? Similar to the x-axis, but this one is basically z-score. Let's look at the left side, the green part in the middle. The green part in the middle. Here we have the mean plus one standard deviation. Mean plus one standard deviation. Remember, mean is 80 plus standard deviation 3. So that's 83. Score 83. On the left side, that's a mean subtract standard deviation, which is 80 minus 3, 77. This is your score. Remember, this is your friend's score. And this if I translate to the right side, remember your z-score 83 or is 1. And a 77, 91. From the rule tells us that the total the error, that's the percentage, P, or probability P, give us. Here, the whole error for the curve should be 68%. Follow the rule is 68%. If I'm doing the same way for my z-score on the right side, that should be 81 to 1. And this middle inside error will be the same followed by rule, which is 68%. Now, what I found out is if I want to find the percentage, the probability that one student score is bigger than 77 or less than 83, which is the same as look at P, where Z score is bigger than 81, less than 1. Because 81 associated with the score 77, 1 is your score 83. That's the same. You don't have to worry about the equal sign or you don't have equal sign. Uh, it doesn't matter. We're going to get the same answer and the total will be 68. It's about 68%. About 68%. That's our first part. The second part, let's look at two standard deviation away from the mean and the two standard deviation away from to the left so here 
the total will be ninety five percent. This tells us something. So most people will be two standard deviation above or below the mean. Here we can also do on the z-score, so two standard deviation, two standard deviation, the z-score is two. And the left side will be negative two, including everyone in between. And this will be question about how about somebody what's the possibility that somebody's score is bigger than 84 that's a third student remember we discussed in order to do this since our z score is not one two followed by the rule we have we need something else to solve the problem